Okay, so one of the members asked that whenever we do a dialysis of the patient, so after the dialysis is over, after how much time we should send the electrolytes and do an ABG to get the accurate results in that in those reports. To understand that, whenever a dialysis is done on a patient, there happens to be a re-equilibrium set because of the fluid shift between the patient and the dialysis machine and the electrolyte shift between the dialysis machine and for that matter, acid-base balance. Now, this re-equilibrium needs to be re-established and it usually takes usually takes 60 minutes uh, for that matter, though there are not conclusive uh, guidelines, but most of the studies and articles say that around at least 60 minutes, one or two hours are, uh, are necessary for the shift to re to set in again, once again. So most of the studies said that for ABGs, for electrolytes, specifically potassium, you need to send the lab reports after one hour. 60 minutes or one or two hours in our setup we usually try to take it after two hours so that's the standard but there is one exception hemoglobin if you see feel that the patient is having a fall in hemoglobin or the patient is bleeding and we need to check the uh, uh, hemoglobin for that matter you can take any time obviously because that's an emergency for all other reports mostly we usually send the samples after two hours if not at least one hour after that, after dialysis, you will get more accurate results. So, oh, hope this clarifies. Do read more about it.